Rages between the two sides. Those visuals on your screen. Joe Biden is now in Israel ahead of his meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu as the conflict rages uh, between Hamas and the IDF. Now, this comes in the wake of 500 people dying in that airstrike in Gaza, which hit that Gaza hospital. Now, the Hamas forces claim that this was because of uh, the Israeli airstrikes. Now, that's also the pitch coming in from the Palestinian authorities. But on the other hand, the IDF and the Israeli government have said that it was a misfired rocket from the Gazan side. Now, amid this entire uh, PR uh, war of words between uh, the Palestinian uh, side as well as the Israelis, Joe Biden is there in trying to contain this entire situation. But however, his meeting with Arab leaders was called off in the wake of that attack in Gaza where 500 people died. But now at the same time, he's going to have a crucial meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu. This comes as the humanitarian crisis escalates in Gaza. But at the same time, there is a looming ground invasion of the Israeli forces. So what will be the outcome of this meeting? That is something that, will, that can be a turning point in this conflict, ladies and gentlemen. Sadan continues to be with us on the broadcast. Sadan, so Joe Biden is there. He is, likely to, he is going to meet uh, Benjamin Netanyahu to discuss all the modalities of this conflict. The outcome of this meeting is going to be very crucial with the United States being the biggest power player in the region. That's absolutely right. And in fact, there are uh, certain uh, points which uh, have been highlighted by Anthony Blinken during his press briefing last evening. You know, uh, the President Biden is going to sit with Benjamin Netanyahu and perhaps uh, he is going to coordinate it closely uh, as far as the release of the hostages uh, from the Hamas custody is concerned. Then also, President uh, is going to hear from Mr. Netanyahu that how his forces uh, uh, will conduct operations in a way that could minimize civilian casualties and enable enable humanitarian assistance to flow to civilians in Gaza. Again, uh, you know, minimizing civilian casualties and securing humanitarian corridor is on the cards. So we could expect some announcement perhaps by late evening of the uh, announcement of the humanitarian corridor. And the third uh, is going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the plan for the humanitarian aid from donor nations and multilateral organizations to reach civilians in uh, Gaza. So the reaching of uh, this humanitarian aid supplies uh, 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 is something which will be discussed. And uh, also it is very critical that aid uh, begin flowing into Gaza as soon as possible, given the situation and the kind of, uh, you know, horrifying reports we are getting to uh, are getting to uh, read and perhaps hear from people in Gaza that there is no water supply, there's no clean water, there's no uh, shelter for people, people are living in refugee camps. Uh, so, you know, uh, there, there, there's a lot on the cards. Yes, America is still uh, is stands uh, uh, behind uh, behind Israel, but, uh, but there could be a possibility of some tough questions to Bibi Netanyahu when it comes to the strike on the hospital. And it would also be interesting to see whether he manages to convince uh, America, uh, Joe Biden, uh, that Israelis have no hands to play when it comes to the strike on the hospital. It was the Hamas missile which malfunctioned and fell uh, on the hospital. If uh, we, It would be interesting to see if America buys this, uh, uh, this uh, narrative or perhaps the proof that uh, Israelis are... Uh, pushing forward or not. Back to you. Right, but at the same time, uh, you know, uh, Siddhant, Joe Biden's entry into Israel is essential to re-establish the balance of power. Now, Iran has always been suspected of backing the Hamas terror attack, uh, you know, giving them military as well as logistical support. Uh, also, uh, Ayatollah Khamenei has recently said that there will be a global jihad if Israel continues its crimes in Gaza. Now, given that situation, Joe Biden's, you know, personal touch, if you will, when it comes to this raging conflict and to establish a sense of solidarity with Israel is essential to re-establish the balance of power in the region because Israel time and again finds itself surrounded by so many hostile nations. Well, yes, uh, that's uh, absolutely right. Look, uh, you know, uh, when this visit of Joe Biden was planned, situation was completely different. Diplomacy was on track. What America wanted, America was perhaps uh, getting that in terms of, uh, you know, uh, promises and assurance, uh, uh, assurances from the Arab world. But now, when Joe Biden has landed in Tel Aviv, the situation has completely changed because of the strike on the hospital. Now, there is a lot of pressure on America from the Arab world 
to to uh, to go hard on israel or perhaps first to secure humanitarian aid and immediate ceasefire this is what arab world is demanding perhaps we have also got to know the saudi arabia has come out with a statement calling for an immediate ceasefire on uh, on gaza so you know uh, the long standing allies of us in the west asia are now putting pressure on america to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, to tell israel to uh, push back and to stop uh, uh, the the counter offensives now there here is a situation on one end america is backing israel in the counter offensive they say that israel has a right to defend its territory and people on the other end arab world wants america to convince israel uh, to uh, to uh, to announce ceasefire and third on ground in reality uh, they are uh, there has been an iron wall which has been developed on the gaza strip the tanks heavy armored vehicles are ready uh, uh, for the ground operations inside uh, uh, gaza so it would really be interesting to see what is going to be the uh, uh, what is going to be the final result of this meeting of uh, president biden in tel aviv whether he will give green signal to israel to do counter offensives uh, or whether there is going to be a humanitarian uh, corridor secured by america successfully so that arab world can also tell their people that look we got uh, the humanitarian corridor secured uh, uh, and we uh, and that has happened because we have put pressure on america so you know we could see america again in a in a in a balancing uh, such uh, balancing both the powers in the west asia and let's wait for the final press conference in the evening and then only we would be able to uh, tell our viewers what is the outcome of uh, uh, president biden's visit to tel aviv right but sudan at the same time as you're pointing out could that be the deal that can be brokered if the rafa border crossing is opened and the gazans are able to flee the conflict zone could that placate a lot of the arab powers and at the same time because benjamin netanyahu has said that he has vowed to end this war and you know israel is committed they've also formed a unity government and a war cabinet to eradicate hamas could that also give the green signal to continue with the ground invasion if the rafa border crossing is open placate the arab nations with the humanitarian aid but then allow israel because biden has pressure back home also to back israel but back israel so that they can eliminate a terror organization once and for all that's right that's right so look in diplomacy uh, look everything is happening in uh, in in media glare there is no back channel there may be back channel but what we are seeing right now is that america is doing diplomacy in west asia going and meeting heads of state so everything is happening in the public glare now these heads of state since they have met america they also have have to uh, show their their people what they have done in these uh, in these uh, difficult times for palestine so what they are uh, uh, pitching right now is to secure humanitarian corridor as soon as possible and that is one demand which has been uh, conveyed by uh, in fact all of these uh, west asian countries to america so there could be a possibility that america will strike a deal where israel can get a Uh, perhaps uh, some sort of a leeway uh, to do counter offensive ground operations in, uh, uh, in 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 some parts of gaza and on the other end uh, for the arab nations america will uh, convince them by saying that look you are asking for humanitarian corridor and here we are announcing the humanitarian corridors and israel will make sure that supply uh, reach the people of gaza uh, gaza and the trucks will be allowed to enter through rafa border so these could be the two announcement that uh, Uh, can come uh, uh, likely on the cards, and also uh, you know, uh, since uh, America has condemned the uh, strike on the hospital, uh, it would be the first time that President Biden will be asked about the hospital incident. It would be interesting to see that what is going to be his position as far as the hospital incident is concerned, and what is his position on the ceasefire, overall ceasefire uh, uh, on the war, because America will give its best to. restrict this war between Israel and Hamas America doesn't want any other war because that diverts the attention of America from core issues like the pacific and emergence of China so America right now is not prepared for any war in uh, west asia all it wants it to be restricted between Israel and Hamas and that is going to that is perhaps the core of american diplomacy right now in west asia